In 2021, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission enacted a seasonal closure in an area known as Western Dry Rocks. This seasonal closure is approximately 10 miles southwest of Key West in the Florida Keys. The closure protects a specific area where multiple species of reef fish gather to reproduce. FWC scientists, like Jesse Secord, are monitoring how fish communities change over time due to this new spatial closure. Hi, my name is Jesse Secord. I'm a research associate here at FWRI. One way we are detecting changes at Western Dry Rocks is using age and growth of mutton snapper and gray snapper. By collecting otoliths, spines, and gonads, we can look at how fast these fish are growing, how old they are, and determine their reproductive output. The otoliths tell us ages. Otoliths leave rings like trees, and that helps us determine age structure of those spawning populations. We're also trying to develop new non-lethal ways of aging fish using dorsal spines. By using these spines, we can collect ages without actually affecting the spawning population or these big adult breeder fish. Collecting gonads gives us the ability to look at the reproductive structure of these populations of mutton snapper and gray snapper. What that does for us is allows us to determine what peak spawning time is and see if that's overlapping with the actual closure. The life history project being conducted at Western Dry Rocks is only part of the research that will document any changes due to this management decision. To learn more about Western Dry Rocks, the regulations, and other research happening there, please visit our website at myfwc.com.